예, 예. 안녕하세요. This one, in particular, carries a lullaby-like quality, making it a soothing choice before bedtime. It emanates a beautiful essence, deserving a rating of 8.2-10. Presenting the familiar emotional ballad enriched by piano, violin, and lush synths, this track carries a poignant tone with a touch of 80s vibes in its synthetic elements. The emotive nature of the song makes it a potential fit for a Korean drama ost, seamlessly blending into such a setting. It's a beautiful composition that I can envision listening to occasionally, especially on rainy days. While I believe the addition of choreography in the second chorus would have enhanced it further, the song remains captivating and beautiful, earning a rating of 8.2-10. This was an R&B ballad, and if I recall correctly, they presented it as a gift to the fans. Their voices blended beautifully, with spot-on harmonies. However, personally, it's not a track I would frequently listen to. I might give it a listen occasionally when it comes on shuffle, but it won't be a regular in my playlist. Nevertheless, it's a lovely song, earning a rating of 8.2-10. Exploring a rock-based sound within this ballad, it produces a notably warm tone, complemented by Q Yoon's consistently lovely vocals. His performance was truly impressive, effectively conveying the emotions embedded in each lyric. The track itself is beautiful, and the accompanying music video, featuring a compelling storyline, added to the overall appeal. Consequently, I would rate it 8.2-10. The pop rock style complements him nicely, and this track stands out as quite solid. I didn't anticipate encountering this type of song as the album opener, making my initial listen a pleasant surprise. It's a remarkably beautiful song, showcasing his impressive vocal delivery. The track exudes a hopeful, everything will be alright, vibe that resonated with me, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I will definitely be revisiting it, giving it a rating of 8.3-10. The beginning is quite minimalistic, but it evolves into a full-fledged orchestra when the violins make their entrance. This transition creates a grand emotional experience, akin to standing on the edge of a cliff, feeling all your emotions intensely. Undoubtedly the best track thus far, every aspect of it was flawless. It almost brought me to tears, it's the type of song that prompts you to close your eyes and let the vibes transport you. The addition of the orchestra elevated the song even further, making it a wonderful track. I sincerely hope he performs it live one day. I would give it a rating of 8.5, 10. As I expected, this album mainly consists of ballads, but they weren't the dull type. In fact, each one was truly fantastic and distinct. While it might not become a go-to in my regular playlist, I'll certainly revisit it whenever I'm in the mood for this style of music. Overall, I would rate it 8.3-10. This was still a wonderful album, I'm glad I listened to it but I would like to see him try different genre for the next one. I will end the video here, I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment your thoughts about the album down below. I will see you in the next video, much love.